Form Next 2022, and I'm with my friend, Ardien, and we're at Mamaki, and we have an amazing lineup of things to talk about. Like, I'm actually blown away, but first, what is Mamaki? Why is Mamaki? How is Mamaki? Can you let us know? Yeah, that's a good question. We get the question a lot here at Form Next <laughs> because a lot of people don't really know us, um, but we're tracing from 2D printing. The funny thing is we never used to call it 2D printing until we <laughs> ended up into 3D printing and then our traditional business. So Mamaki originally we had to refer as, as 2D printing, like paper printing, not paper, but large format printing for like industrial applications, printing directly onto object, uh, so object decoration. I see what you're um, saying. Signage, uh, so the large, the really large machine for signage, uh, textiles uh, like high volume for fast fashion, these kind of things, interior decoration, and we do have printers for object decoration that is using UV curable ink. And a while ago, or like a few years ago, we were starting to build like textures in the print by, by building different layers yeah. and, and that's where kind of the idea born like hey if you put a lot of layers on top of each other we should get 3D. Um, <laughs> that's how it works. And that's right. It, it, in the end it turned it didn't turn out to be that easy but we managed to turn our technology into um, a functional full color 3D printer um, and, and I think that's also what differentiates us the most um, is that we are talking real full color so we're talking about 10 million colors or over 10 million colors um, that all printed in the same go uh, as the model, um, which is based on our 2D printing um, technology. That is so cool. Like yeah. it's based, you, you, long ago, you did printing on objects and then you found out you could do textures using the, that technique and you thought just building up the layers, utilizing this technique, we get 3D objects. Exactly. Now the 3D objects we're talking about, like you said, 10 million colors. These are full color. This looks like a shoe, it, it but it's not no, it's a not. shoe. So let's talk about what's on top of this display case so, yeah. here. So first, I, I would like to explain a little bit how it works, um, the technology itself. So basically, um, you have a 3D model with a texture layer that's wrapped around that is actually the representative of the, of the image. Oh, um, I see. So, so the... So it's kind of an image wrapped around I see. Um, a 3D model. And then, of course, you can go even deeper, like adding transparent areas, mixing transparent with color, but we will, we will get there. Um, but if you just look at the basic model, um, basically we have the model, we are slicing it, uh, like every 3D printer does, and then okay. uh, using a UV curable uh, resin, which we used to call it ink, because <laughs> we, we're from the <laughs> printing yeah. industry, um, we're basically layer by layer building up this image. And since it's, it's jetting, using inkjet technology, so since it's jetting, we can't stop the, the material in the air, so we have to have uh, uh, support to have solid layers each time, because it needs to end up uh, oh, that makes on, sense. on top of each other. So. This is how it comes out of the printer and the white stuff around it, it's, um, it's a support liquid. Um, it's kind of wax. Um, it has uh, a waxy of, uh, sort of feel yeah. to it. Like this, this, this doesn't yeah, feel like this. Yeah. This one is pretty old. We printed this most probably two years ago. So it's, it's kind <laughs> of like, it, it doesn't have the original touch anymore. Okay. Normally it's softer and it dissolves in water. Um, oh, So basically when the object comes out, um, you would put it into water or um, preferably some kind of device that adds some motion to it to speed up the process and it would dissolve all the support liquid and, and your object comes out. So this one is kind of like stopped halfway and so you can see that um, these are all actually flat layers on top of each other where we have white material in the middle mm -hmm. and we're basically adding um, the same way as how you would print the image on paper using CMYK dots. Basically you are placing CMYK dots on the edge um, which in vertical direction is building up the image um, and by the time they get... How big are the dots? Because can I, can I take this for a second? Yeah, sure. If I look really close, I can't tell that there are no, you, dots. You can, you can see that. Okay. Um, so the, the, the droplets of material that we are firing are six picoliter. Um, <laughs> so that's, that's, 10, that's, that's 10 to the power minus 12. Right, um, that's so very you, small. If, if, if we put one here, you would never find it. No, um, at, at not, all. Not, not even with a microscope. Um, we have a layer thickness of 20 micron, and so which basically means 1200 DPI if we talk about printing resolution. Right, if we're, yeah, yeah, that makes would, sense. Would make 21 DPI, so we have, we have approximately 1200 DPI resolution, we could say. Our 3D printing technology is color managed, so our software actually is using an ICC profile of our 3D color printing technology. Which is perfect. Um, which means that, that the scanners also have, or your modeling has, and, and we could also do soft proofing. So if you have a profile professional monitor, um, you could actually load the ICC profile of, of our printer into your workspace, and you could soft proof your 3D model on your monitor, seeing exactly the color that you would get out of the <laughs> printer, which is 
it's, it's not a cheap technology. It no, is not, not at it all. It's not a very fast technology. Um, so a lot of trial and error, like if it's your A4 printer at home and it doesn't come out the way you want it, you just reprint a few times and, and until you get it right. But when you start <laughs> to do these kind of models, um, you don't really want it to go that way. So you want to have a predictive and you want to be able to see on your screen um, uh, what, you're going to, what you're going to get. That makes sense. I could grab a pint with you and we could chat this for like hours on end okay. and I would enjoy the heck out of it. But we do have a lot of models here that showcase yeah. the technology and I want to make sure we get through these yeah. because they, they look amazing. And so of what's here, what should we start with? Proto prototyping, which um, I really like because it just has this like a uh, fine mesh Ooh, uh, may structure. I? Yeah. So um, I worked with Gillette a number of years ago okay. on their Razor Maker project. And it was really neat, but they used resin from a resin 3D printer. And so the, the color choice either had to be painted on afterwards by an artist or it just wasn't available. But this is all in one go, exactly. ready. Exactly. That's really neat. If you go into like very fine details, like these are some, <laughs> some, 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 look items, at this. some items you could use for like miniature house uh, uh, furniture. And if you look at the couches, like the, 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 the pattern on, on, on the textile. They have a, like the, a cross the, on, the, on, the co on the covering, it's like, you, you would never be able to hand Can I pick that. one up? Oh, yeah, sure. I'm gonna take this one. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> it's a... Wow. This is, this is really, really cool. Like these are, they look amazing. And they're so tiny. Yeah, they they're so tiny. Amazing. So I mean, big things. But tiny things too. Exactly. And the resolution is available at scale. So even though they're super duper tiny, you still have all of that detail exactly. with that with that DPI coverage. Exactly. This blows my mind. This yeah. blows my mind right here. So this is another sample that I just brought to, to, to actually show the gamut. So you can see like how all the gradients are actually all there. So you don't see any stepping, you don't see any striping, like cutting off of a gamut. So it's like completely smooth from, from the whole range, um, showing, showing the gamut. See, with this, something like this, I know that this is a, a digitally powered analog process, right? Because we're, we're depositing material, but thanks to a digital model, this doesn't look digital at all. This looks like an artist made it, right? This, this looks like something that was made in the real world with an artistic right. pen or, or paintbrush or something instead of a digital process that made it. This is really cool. Yeah, it is. And another one that I really like, but it's in the showcase, so I couldn't bring it here. I understand. Uh, but you should have a look. We have this like big building market over okay. there. Um, and when you go to the back side of the building, it actually has all the windows in transparent, and you can see the inside of the offices. Is that why we have little um, couches for the building? Uh, well, they're not separate, because that one is like printed in one go. It was so, printed in one go. Yeah, so everything you see inside is like in the same layers. It is building up like all this transparent stuff and, and the furniture and everything. There's a lot of form next, and we could sit here and talk for hours, but we're going to have to wrap it up because yeah. This has been a joyous education. This is amazing because I didn't know this was possible. And now thanks to this, a lot more people are gonna see this and know it's possible. This has been amazing. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for passing by and <laughs> giving us the opportunity to explain this to the audience. I'm gonna ask one more thing though yeah. from you. So uh, for the audience out there though, they're gonna wanna know more about this. Well, the best place to go is on our website. Uh, so you can find more information on mimaki.com. Look for our 3D section where we explain all about the different products and possibilities. That's perfect. I'll put a link down in the description. Listen, thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Have a good rest of form next. Thank you. See you next year. See you next year. And I will make sure I have that's uh, right, my, that's my, right. my, 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 mini, my mini self with me.